Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video. Today I have a clean and simple hello type note card design for you. I created this card using this high die, which I think I picked up at a charity shop. And this, I guess it's supposed to be a sun die. My enamel dot making circle die and this tattered lace embossing folder but I'm going to remake it for you to show you how I did it but I'm going to change the design up a bit to give the card a different feel so for this card I created a rainbow using I think it was the Catherine Pooler inks I pulled this bit of paper the colored paper out of my pretties pouch my pouch of pretties uh, it was something I made a while ago, but instead of a rainbow today, I thought I would stick with an uh, analogous colour scheme. We've got a dark blue, a purple and a tealy turquoisey blue. These are Cummerbund, Pixie Dust and Cove Blue. And I'm going to blend onto a piece of mixed media paper so I get a nice smooth blend. and just create a bluey teal through purple to navy ombre or graduated blend I guess you'd call it So I've laid down my colours. It doesn't look like a particularly smooth blend at the moment, but I do find with these Catherine Pooler inks that they kind of smooth themselves out over uh, a period of time. So I'm not worried about that. I deliberately went for a stronger colour as well. The other one that I did was quite pastel and light, but I wanted something quite punchy for this one. So my next step is to cut my high from this and I want to capture all three of the colours so I make sure I've got this bit over here where it's going to grab some blue, we've got the purple in the middle and this bit's going to grab some navy or indigo and I'll run that through my cuttle bug. So I'm going to keep this in here she says letting it drop out for now because what I want to do is emboss the letters but I want to keep the dot of the eye above the right place over the rest of the eye so that the pattern makes sense when you see them together I hope that makes sense but you'll see what I mean when we get there so instead of a swirly whirly pattern I'm going to go for stars this time that's the raised side. We're going to pop this in here, get that lined up. And run that through the cuttle bug again. It's just started raining, so if you can hear a pitter patter, it's the rain on the conservatory roof. I hope it's not too distracting. So now we've got stars embossed on the words. Off camera, I die cut three highs out of white cardstock and glued them together, one on top of the other, to create a stack. So that's going to give my die cut some dimension. So I'll just add the colourful high on top of these white highs. The 
press that down with some deli paper so I don't get glue all over my fingers. So that's ready now. So we've got a die cut high that is four die cuts deep. Today's card blank is a five and three quarter by five and three quarter piece of linen textured cardstock, card blank. And I've got a piece that is five and a half by five and a half, I think, to put on top. On this card, I used this sun die to cut a shape out of the panel that goes behind the high. On this card, I'm going to use a star because I thought if I do blues and purples and add some gold glitter, it will be very sort of night timey. So stars would work really well. I just want to get this placed in the middle. So I'm going to put that about there and I'm going to tape this down. This is just the panel, not the card. I'm going to tape it down and put the tape on the inside so that I don't rip the bit that I want to keep and run that through my cuddle bug. I'm going to pop a piece of paper over the front of this so that the linen textured card doesn't get damaged by the scratches in my cutting plate. So there we have our star aperture. Well, I quite fancy having a bit of a frame around this star. I don't want it to look too unfinished. So I've got some linen textured cardstock here and I'm gonna put a larger star die on plus the star die that I used to cut that. And then I can line these up so that they're is the equal space gap all the way around between the two dies and then use my washi tape to tape them together and run this through my cuttle bug and that will give me a frame it will cut the frame from between the two dies and it will have stitching on it which should look pretty right so there we have the frame it's not entirely perfect but if i have it this way up it is symmetrical so I think that works and I'm gonna pop a bit of glue all the way around and I'm just gonna pick up some of the excess glue with a bit of deli paper so it doesn't squidge out all over the place and add that on top there so now my aperture's got a lovely frame around it and I use some clean deli paper to press that down. For this card, I use some gold glitter cardstock. I did think about putting silver behind that because I think it would look nice with purple, but I, I just love the look of gold and purple together. There's something majestic about it. So I'm gonna go for gold, but I'm going to up the richness a bit. This is the card that I used on the original, the gold card, but I'm going to use this. So it's a bit of a, a, a warmer gold, I guess. So that is going to go on there like that. So now it's time to add my panel to my card front. And I'm gonna do that using craft foam, just to give this panel a bit of lift and dimension above the actual card blank. And I'm gonna just run my finger fingernail gently around the edge of this and this will just bevel the edge I'm not distressing it I'm I'm sort of curving it over making it look as if it was cut by a die rather than by a trimmer actually I probably have the right size die for this because I found some in my charity shop the other week but um I hadn't remembered until now So making sure, I think I'll do this tenfold, making sure I've got it the right way up. So 
so there's our card front and now I can add my high so I'm just going to pop glue on the back of this and pop it where it looks nice so a bit of the star peeking out all the way around just get my ruler just to get everything level now for the little dot And just press that down for a bit with the deli paper just to get everything to stick. It can be tricky getting things to stick to glitter cardstock I find but tacky glue for me works the best. Now as a finishing touch to this one I used my circle die to die cut some circles from the gold glitter cardstock then I put some glossy accents on the top and it's given me some really beautiful glittery enamel dots. This time instead of circles I'm going to do stars and I have found my star punches and now I can't see them. Hang on. So I will use the gold glitter card stop. Just pop a little bit of glue there, dunk my stars in it. to turn these gold stars into glittery gold stars I'm going to add glossy accents again and I can get it to come out without spluttering all over the shop I think the trick with these is to put a little bit on at a time and kind of coax it along where you want it to go don't just splurge the glue on, the glossy accents on. Add a bit, coax it along, coat the bits that you want to coat. And if you think it needs a bit more, give it a little bit more. And look at it from different angles so that you can see if bits are covered or not. Sometimes it's not until you turn it you realise you haven't covered the whole thing. with glossy accents because they dry glossy it's easier to add less and then add a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more then add too much and have to wipe it off and then smear glossiness all over places where you don't want it so there we go two cards made using the same design idea the same high die but different other dyes different inks different shapes, different shape cards. I really like both of them. I think I like the stronger colour of this one. So if I was to do another rainbow one, I think I might go in with stronger colours. My preference for gold is this lighter gold, but I think this works with that strong purple as well. And I do really like both the glossy, glittery circles and stars. I think that's a really lovely effect. So which one do you prefer? Are you a daytime rainbow card or a nighttime starry card? Let me know in the comments. I would be really interested to know which one you like the best. And I think that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you back here very soon. Bye for now.